Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Apex Plays. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to take out the crazy hard, bane of my existence, Blood Starved Beast. So, just going to show you guys where the quick checkpoints are, and then we're going to get right into the boss fight. So, at the beginning of this area, this is how you're going to have to get through it originally. You just have to run through and kill all these guys. You got to be really careful on this one, because at the top of that tower, there is a hunter who has this like giant chain gun who just destroys you with it. The fastest way to get through it is to not go down this way, but actually jump down this ladder. You gotta be careful though, because there's a lot of enemies down here, and there's actually another hunter who's down here waiting to kill you. That is actually the item you get for killing him, I guess I just hadn't picked it up yet. So in order to kill the tower hunter with the gun, you come up this ladder, take him out, he is difficult, so be careful. Then you're gonna go through here, you're gonna go through the back of the area, and you're gonna end up unlocking the checkpoint to right here. Let me kill this guy real quick. And then you open up this gate, which can only be opened from the back. So then once you come down here, you're going to go in the middle because there's an upper path, but it's just covered with a whole bunch of crows and it's not really important. So you're going to want to come in here. Then you're going to fight a whole bunch of wolves. They are going to be very challenging, but do your best to just get through it. Uh, the good thing about this area is if you have not leveled up your weapons yet, this is the best time to do so because every time you kill these wolves, they will drop bloodstones and they will actually give you uh, a way to level up your weapons. So, very useful. You're going to want to level up your weapon as much as possible before this next fight because it is just ridiculous. Also, make sure that you have antidotes for this fight because this boss is a poison boss. Ooh. Alright, uh, as you guys can see, I have a very good poison meter. I uh, made sure to get one of the best builds I can. Got it. Oh, damn. I was trying to get that little dude, but I wasn't able to get him. Anyways, let's just go down to the boss. Also, if you have anything chasing you guys, it will stop down there. So just make sure that uh, you get down here without being overwhelmed. Okay, so this boss is just stupidly hard if you do not know what you're doing. It has three different phases, and each phase is just impossibly harder than the last. Uh, the very last stage, he's just going to start flailing around, and even just being around him, you're going to be getting poisoned. So, you got to make sure and have antidotes on you, as you can see in the top left of my screen. They will help you out immensely. This boss is weak against fire, but he has also another weakness that a lot of people didn't notice from the first fight with him. But it's actually hilarious because it's in his name. He's actually the Blood Starved Beast. So if you have the Punch and Blood cocktails, he will actually stop attacking you for like a split second and go and eat the cocktails. So that's a very, uh, very cool little thing to, to know. I got a couple other pieces of fire paper when I was running around before, so I'm going to use those. As you can see, fire just wrecks him. So you got to be really careful to use the the fire oh careful for that attack it will like instant kill you normally i would say don't fight him with uh, the two-handed version but uh the first part is not too difficult it's when he transforms and things just get stupidly hard so it's going to be really careful Okay, now things are getting difficult, so I have to be very careful. So anytime he attacks you from here on out, you're going to be starting to get poisoned. So I threw a cocktail. He should actually go over to it. There you go. Well, that didn't last long. Ooh. Oh my gosh, look how much blood buildup that was. That was just ridiculous on one hit. So like I said, make sure you have some kind of resistance to it. It's really going to help you out. Ooh. Oh my god. Ah, oh, crap. And then when you're poisoned, 
do your absolute best to just run away from him, get between a pillar and him, and just slap on one of those antidotes. Also, if you run out of antidotes, there's some antidotes in the back over here behind this uh, memorial. Those will definitely help you. Oh, and that is an instant kill. So be careful about that. That is really, yeah. So he's just ridiculously, rel unrelentingly chasing after me. It's just so ridiculously hard. Look at that one hit, all that buildup. Oh my god, this boss is just so freaking hard. Come on, go for the blood. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that was completely terrible. Alright, yeah, he can be knocked back with the axe, but just really, really challenging to hit. Okay, cool. But that's my last Molotov, so... Now he's transforming to his final form, which is being around him. I'm going to start getting some poison buildup, so I'm going to throw a cocktail over there. Hopefully he goes for it. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Ugh. Got to get some space between me and him right now. Oof. It's crazy. There we go. Oh crap, I'm poisoned. There we go. You're going to be doing a lot of that. Just make sure you have some distance in between you and him. That's really the key to this. Make sure you have that stamina. Keep running around till your poison meter goes down. Use the pillars. They are here. They are your friend. Oh, crap. Come on. Oh, my gosh. This is so crazy. This boss fight is like the bane of my existence. Get behind the pillars. Oh my god! I'm almost out of antidotes. Oh wow, he saw that coming. Damn you, AI. Come on. Oh my god. It's just so difficult to get hits off on him. Oh my god. That's not what I meant to do. Alright, I'm going to just get my pistol out and start slowly whittling him down. Oh my gosh, this is going to take forever. Oh god. Keep moving. Okay. Wow. This is really close. I'm 
Alright, man, this is coming right down to the wire. Oh my god, and that is how you take out the blood-starved beast. Oh my god. That was the hardest boss. I hate this boss so much. Oh my god, that's just... It's a relief to see him die. No antidotes left, no blood left, no items left. Whew, okay, so that is how you take out the blood-starved beast. You finish him off and you get the first Bethumaru Chalice, which you can then do Chalice Dungeons with your friends. Now, once you beat him, you can actually access the door to the right from the Odon Chapel. So, that's a way to go to another area. And there's a couple other things that are unlocked for beating him, but I'll tell you guys about that in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.